Hello, everybody. I want to say hi to all my friends in the Remnant Army, and I'm back again just to inspire and encourage, hopefully, uh, my fellow warriors uh, in Christ. So today I am um, was led and inspired by another um, prayer warrior, another member of the Remnant Army, who was making reference to the fact that um, Sometimes it's difficult to get to prayer time and to make that time and to get um, uh, to the, themselves to the place where they are able to pray each day. So I wanted to address that and hopefully help everyone with that. And certainly I have had my own challenges. The Lord has asked us to pray so many prayers if you are um, a prayer warrior uh, in the Remnant Army and praying the way that the Lord has asked us to pray, um, it's highly likely that you would at some point become overwhelmed with all we're asked to do and feel that you're not able to keep up. So let's first clarify what Jesus has asked us to uh, do in the way of prayers or say in the way of prayers um, to be part of the remnant army. Uh, number one, he's asked us to pray the rosary every day. He's asked us to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet every day. And he has asked us to pray crusade prayers every day. So if you're part of the true remnant army, um, those, those are a lot of prayers. We're also asked to go to Mass each week and uh, more if possible. And we're also asked to go to uh, confession um, those of us who are Catholics, and some we do have some members in the Remnant Army who are not Catholic but are seeing the prayers of the Remnant Army, so they clearly qualify as members of the Remnant Army. So what I want to do is just um, talk about one of the skills that we need to uh, hone or uh, develop as members of the Remnant Army, and that is this skill of self-discipline. Um, it is a skill, and it takes um, a lot to cultivate and develop, but it is something, a skill that we really need to have as um, prayer warriors. Um, we don't always have that motivation to pray that we need, and certainly, this is spiritual warfare, there is that aspect, um, the, the um, force um, or the spirit of evil that uh, will uh, come between us and God and uh, prevent us from being prayerful. So we need to be mindful of that. We need to be aware of the fact that um, this can happen and um, be prepared for it. And of course, the solution to uh, the spirit of evil is prayer. So it should actually motivate us to say more prayers even though, and, and be counterproductive uh, for the spirit of evil. So, um, you know, it's up to you to decide how you want to cultivate self-discipline, but it's an important quality that you need to have. Um, it's that thing where we signed on for this. We signed on for, we decided we are answering the call. We were recruited to be prayer warriors by Jesus Christ himself through Maria Divine Mercy, the end time prophet. So we really want to, um, um, we don't want to let Jesus down. We want to do what we can. Now, one of the things that I want to suggest is sometimes um, all those prayers are overwhelming for um, certain people in the Remnant Army. Certain people have more time. Certain people have more self-discipline. Certain people are at a certain uh, at a place where they um, are able to handle all of that. Other people are not. not they're not there yet. So what I want to encourage you, and this is sort of the life coaching technique that um, I can share with you, and that is if you aren't doing any praying because you're overwhelmed, then we want to just get you started with something. So um, spend 15 minutes in prayer and then build up to 20 minutes the next week. You know, But tr the important thing I want to encourage everybody is to see to it that you pray every day. Pray at least 15 minutes every day. If you're not praying at all, if you do give Jesus 15 minutes, I think he'll be happier with that than if you don't give him anything. Consistency. Be consistent. 
pray 15 minutes every day, build up to 20 minutes. Um, start with, my suggestion is you start with the rosary, but if you, it's on your heart to do something else, do something else. That's fine, just so you're doing one of the prayers. Maybe start with the Divine Mercy Chaplet. That takes about 15 minutes to say. But I really think the rosary is so important that even if you just do 15 minutes of the rosary, next day finish it, something where you're consistent. So we want to see self-discipline and we want to see you be consistent. These are just things that I'm inspired to encourage you with. Um, because I know it is hard. The other part of this is I just want to encourage everybody to really take this job seriously. Take this role seriously. Take this job seriously. Being part of the Remnant Army, this is biblical. This is historical. This is highly spiritual. And it needs to be taken seriously. Um, so I want to definitely encourage you to uh, take a look at this role that you've taken on and um, take it seriously um, please uh, this is this is I mean we're taking on the spirit of evil and we are trying to prevent people from going to hell we're praying for the salvation of souls that's our mission and um, so um, you know, if you're, if you're part of the Remnant Army, you signed on for this, this is a serious job. It requires focus, commitment, dedication, and above all else, the love of Jesus Christ. That just is unceasing. And if we love him, we're going to pray. So, um, you know, this isn't, um, we all have see obstacles in this work. We all see challenges. And I am no different. And I have, I have areas where I have to, um, work too you know having a full-time job it's hard to get all of those prayers in consistently every single day and um, also if you do miss once don't beat yourself over up over it Jesus understands but just keep on going keep on going keep on going and that's it my little heart to heart chop talk with my friends in the remnant army I love you I little candle for all my friends in the remnant army uh, in adoration yesterday and um, uh, I pray for my friends in the Remnant Army every day and Jesus loves you uh, make no mistake about that and um, just uh, remember what I said God bless you I am Michelle Shannon I am a child of the Most High God never forget that you are a child of the Most High God and you belong to Jesus